It's been a hot button issue for weeks now. Shortages on medical supplies across the country here in Olmsted County. We have seen cries for help. Our Barrett Leone found one woman who's channeling her livelihood to meet needs of those in her community during this global pandemic. As a seamstress, okay, I'm gonna do another seam. This is a typical seam for Brooke Birch. But what's not typical is what's under the needle. But locking that stitch in, because people need to be able to wash these masks mm. and reuse them quite often. Reusable face masks made to order as requested by many hospitals and clinics. This is the finished mask, front and back. I've actually done a lot of masks for nursing homes and the warming shelter. So kind of groups that are kind of forgotten in the whole thing. Hello. It's very scary. It's a very unknown. We're really just learning day to day. And I work in healthcare, so I know kind of the importance of masks right now. Really, we're doing this because the mask industry isn't keeping up. A project she started on her own. So these. But soon realized she couldn't do alone. All these fabrics were donated from people in the community. They got to clear out their sewing cabinets for this project. Help flowers poured in. Like a huge spectrum of women from all walks of life that have come together to do this. Together, the team produced about 500 masks in all shapes, sizes, colors and prints in just three weeks. These are exciting. These are different. And I think that takes an element of fear out of it for people. Something just to you know bring the spirits up, I think, during this time is very important. Working to make a difference stitch by stitch and it was like instantaneous you know once the need came in the people were just there in rochester barrett leone ktc news with so many unknowns brooke is unsure how long she will be making the masks for but after a very busy few weeks the sewing team will be taking a hiatus we'll have more information on the web version of the story ktc.com